Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Virtual Boy games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to be doing is opening up the Play Store and we're going to be searching for and installing a free app that we're going to be using as an emulator in today's video. That app is going to be RetroArch. It's 100% free and the first thing you need to do is come to the Play Store and download this. Now the second free app we're going to be installing in today's video is called The Archiver. This is another app that's 100% free. It's going to be used for extraction and compression. Or in today's video we're going to be using it for extracting our games a little bit later on. It's a really nice free tool that I'd recommend having regardless. So this is the second thing you want to get installed. Once you have RetroArch installed, the first thing you're going to be doing is opening it up. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone's storage as we're going to be locating the games a little bit later on. Once you have the app opened up, the first thing you're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top right here. And if you have any other cores installed, we're going to have to scroll all the way down here and we're going to be looking for the download a core option that shows up right here. If we select this, we will then get a list of all available cores for our Android device. In this case, we're then going to be scrolling all the way down until we see Nintendo Dash Virtual Boy and BLVB in brackets. To install this core, you simply click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom and then your core will be installed. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here by clicking back on the top left. We're then going to be going back into the load core option one more time and we're going to be selecting the core that we just downloaded which is right down here for me the virtual boy core. Simply click on it and you'll know it's loaded because some text will appear at the top left. So once you have your core set up we're ready to jump over to RetroArch and actually talk a little bit about our games. So at the moment I have a folder here dedicated to my virtual bike games. You can see I have Jack Bros right here in a .zip file. And what we need to do with the archiver is actually extract this game file out to be in a .vb format that we can use for our emulator. So in this case, how we do this is simply click on it once using the archiver. We can click extract here if you'd like to extract the game in its current location or extract dot 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 if you would like to choose a location to extract your games to. In my case, I'm simply going to be clicking extract here, which is going to extract my games in its current location. Now I will also mention at this point in the video, I'm not going to be showing you where to download games although games are really really easy to find a quick google search will help you out on this and then all you have to do is copy this process and once your games are extracted we're ready to jump back over to retroarch we already have our core loaded from the previous step as you can see on the top left what we're going to be doing is clicking the load content option right here and then we're going to be locating to where our games are downloaded so in my case turn my virtual by folder right here and you can see i have my dot vb rom right here what I'm going to be doing is clicking this and because we had our core already selected it should load up without any issues and our game should start to load up and play right away. And you can see just like that when I select my .vb file my game will start to load and you can see just like that on screen my game is actually loaded without any problems. I can now play virtual bike games without any problems using RetroArch and you can see everything works just fine right now. So for most phones this should run without any issues although it may depend on the game you're running and the phone that you're actually using. However I can see a lot of people having issues with this. Anyway guys this is as easy as that to play virtual boy games on your android device if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace